Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A New Point of View. Good evening, good afternoon, but good morning, because our digital edition is specifically focused for New York, Miami, Los Angeles. So we are strictly connected to the America, North America. So today is the 30 of July, so and we are so pleased to introduce you our two very special guests, which are Alberto Zontone, so Adio Studio Urchiola. Welcome, Alberto. Ciao, Alberto. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you to be here. And also we have, and this time we have also close to me that we are in Milan now, yeah. Stefano Ronchetti, partner of Marzorati Ronchetti. Welcome, Stefano. Thanks a lot to and uh, thanks to everybody to, to hear us. So today we want to speak about authenticity and hotel design, store design. So in a specific storytelling from Italy with a very unique flavor. So let me give the floor, first of all, to Stefano to introduce the star case Marzorati Ronchetti journal. Yeah, yes. okay. So Marzorati Ronchetti is a, you know, is a brand uh, founded in 1922, so we are very close to 100 year anniversary founded by my grandfather and my my grandmother my, my the family of my grandmother and uh, um, of my mother let's say the the, 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 the grandfather of my mother and um, <laughs> and then in the 50 mr ronchetti which is my father joined fratelli marzorati and so they, they do marzorati ronchetti so we are specialized in architectural project and um, and uh, in this case, uh, we are showing uh, many of the many of this this, this project are staircase because um, staircase uh, are one of the the, the the thing where we are very well very specialized and there are some items uh, that are very very mm -hmm. special. Uh, we will see some 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 staircase not done for the facial, but many. Many of them are in the facial, facial world. So I'm just yes. sharing yeah, with please. all of you because we are. Yeah. So for example, here, uh, the, the first one you saw before, if you can go back, this is, is not in the, in the facial, but everybody, every, every traveler knows because um, this is the big staircase in the business, business, business lounge of uh, airport in Doha, Doha airport, but is one of the most expensive uh, <laughs> airport per square meter, but the uh, family, the, the royal family wanted to have. And so we did this incredible staircase. There are some also some um, desk, uh, incredibly done and very, 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 very high end. Then the next step we we'll see is something that uh, uh, is more linked with the fashion. We are talking about the, um, the big project of uh, Abercrombie & Fitch in champs -Elysees. And uh, it was a project done uh, eight, ten years ago, probably. I think it's one of the biggest shops that uh, Abercrombie has in the world. And, uh, you know, the, the staircase is in Baroque. Uh, this is another staircase we did for um, Alan Giorno project. Uh, Alan Giorno was one of the historical brand in, uh, in Milano, in Via della Spiga, one of the most well-known brand uh, for for let's for fashion addicted uh, and uh, and, uh, and, um, and then uh, the next one uh, here you can see the the staircase we did for uh, Azina Laya the new shop but uh, Azina Laya uh, but um, unfortunately we did this the shop in London in New Street as exactly the time when Azadin died. So Azadin was a very close friend of mine. Uh, now Alaya is uh, belong to the Richmond group. And, um, but we, all the shop of Alaya in Paris, in Marignano, Rue de Musi, or uh, in London, this one, uh, normally we, 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 we work for him. In this case, you can see this special staircase. Uh, 
uh, three floory building uh, in um, patinated steel and glass uh, and it's quite uh, an impressive job and i like i like this please. To, to jump inside now because i seen because adelina laia it's also working in a, um, let me say in a wonderful way leather materials and most of the time the quality of the specific data that he's looking for are unique. So yeah, that's why he came to. That's why he came to us yes. <laughs> because uh, because uh, yeah. we are not considered the 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the expensive company in the world. But you know we are very well known for detail. You understand? It's Azedine exactly. and Carla Sozzani that normally work with Azedine, but choose the detail and uh, Azedine. Uh, we are working. We, we were for him with him for 25 years you know exactly he wants something but he, he can have just by himself you understand what i mean so i a, i totally understand and this is the things i like to highlight which is when we talk about authenticity and quality and italian quality so that's the point so it's and it's a, also something that we can also recognize in several of these images yeah, exactly. I think. You, you have this kind of touch Contemporary, innovative, but in the meantime, long lasting. Long last time, yeah. For example, this with, with money, because before was bought by uh, diesel group uh, when uh, belonged to Fab Castiglioni family. We did for them many, many. All the shops were wide. Then when uh, Castiglioni, Consuelo, and Gianni Castiglioni sold to to diesel. To Renzo Rosso, they change supplier. They, mm -hmm. Let's say, not they, 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 they didn't care of the, the detail like before with Castiglione. Okay. This, this was the, the London stop, the one London store, and was the most important. And this is uh, Witton, Los Angeles. For Witton, we don't use to work, let's say, in any shop, but you know, for special project. Uh, like the one in Beverly Hills, uh, one in Macy, one in Milano, one in London. So for specific project, they call us because also for this, they want to have some specific uh, detail that not all the company can give. You know, clearly, you know, for the shopping shop in the airport, they don't call us clearly, but for the flagship, normally they... they so they this can. is another interesting message, so which means they decide to use the... Italian, uh, we say maestranze, yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> artisanal and crafting because they want to be sure that the flagship store has something that remains. And this is one that's, of the That's elements. the reason. For example, I, I, I work quite a lot for, for the, the, the fashion brands. I have many contacts in the fashion brand, but our, our, um, our contacts are not continuous. It doesn't mean it doesn't, that doesn't mean that they come to me one, doing a shop and then all the other 20. They come to me just when, it, that, when there is the special shop, you understand? Okay. Uh, but the speciality uh, the, and the unique. Unique, exactly. It can be a special door, can be a special staircase, can be a special whatever. But for the, the usual shop, so normally they use other companies. But you okay. know, we know it. We are not complaining. But it's a good. choice. You this understand? is good. This is, this is part of the choice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So now I like to jump inside at another unicity. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then we come back again because this was opening to another uh, gem that Alberto can introduce us because this is a wonderful place. I don't know where is it exactly I want to <laughs> introduce. I, I wonder Alberto can introduce. Sure. So this is uh, Hotel in Sereno in Torno. It's uh, six kilometers north from Como. So I, I'm the CEO and uh, one of the funding partners of Studio Patricia Occhiola. And this for us was a magical project because uh, it was really uh, very difficult at the beginning because of uh, leg legislation and permits. But uh, we really enjoy all the process also with the investor, which were very involved. And uh, we were very happy to see it, uh, the, the, the success of, of the hotel. It was very difficult because first of all, usually uh, you cannot build or uh, design a modernist building on the lake. There are so many restrictions. So it took almost more time to have the permits than, than to build. 
And so for us, too, some things are very important. For instance, the only hotel on the lake that has a fixed pool and not a floating pool. It's the only hotel with has a flat roof. And uh, so the very thing that uh, they were important, and you know, we, we, we link into the, to the heritage of Terragni and other modernist uh, architects that uh, work in the, in the 30s and 40s in the lake uh, to create uh, a link to uh, what we wanted to do. So it was also important to, to protect the, uh, the atmosphere of the lake. So we work with uh, all the local materials like uh, the stone, the main stone we use is uh, Chaco di Grey from Lombardy. We use a uh, majority of the plants from the region. So that also we had to do a study that from every part of the, uh, of the, of the side of the lake, we were not altering the orography of the hills. So uh, it was a lot of uh, work. Uh, we had to write uh, an essay of uh, 1,000 pages to justify why it makes sense to do a uh, contemporary building on the lake that was not done uh, recently. And, um, and so we were very lucky and also we were happy because um, we, we didn't only open on time, but we opened before time. Like usually it never happens, but uh, uh, Daniel Elk, the owner of Spotify, uh, and his wife, they fell in love with, uh, with a project they heard about uh, from a promoter about the project. And so they decided to get married uh, there. So instead of opening on time, uh, we had to open uh, three months earlier so that uh, it was possible for them to have their, their wedding there. And uh, so it was like one of those uh, serendipity moments where, you know, on budget uh, before time and really everybody, uh, the investor us, very happy about uh, the result. Um, and uh, of course, you know, we, we didn't want to do a, a traditional uh, project, you know, predictable uh, project idea of the Lake of Como. We wanted to do something which is contemporary, but still is linked to the to heritage of the lake, you know, to the to the to the heritage of the 50s and 60s on the lake, but in a in a new way. So, for instance, for us, it was very important the relationship between indoor and outdoor. So the same stone that we use inside uh, the suites is also used in, uh, outside. So we have a special uh, window system uh, that when it's open, there's, there's no breakage, or there's no breakthrough between the inside and the outside. So you can use them as an old space. The, the feeling is that uh, your room is, uh, is even larger than this. And every room is in uh, contact view with the water, with the lake. Um, there are other important things for us, like the, uh, uh, the energy impact. So we use for the first time uh, in Italy a new system for uh, lower energy consumption, for, uh, for AC, uh, eating, cooling, and all the function, and also use a green roof to lower the temperature of the hotel. So there's a lot of things happening at the same time. It was also an happy project because we could uh, work uh, 360 degrees. So it was really an organic project from construction, from architecture, down to uh, some accessories, details, like uh, some of the pieces you've seen on, uh, on the photo on the left. It's like, for instance, a piece, uh, the vase that we've done with uh, your Jensen. And uh, so there was a lot of uh, custom pieces done specifically for, for this project, down to the, to the level of uh, the tableware. There were a lot of uh, our products that, uh, that were uh, specially made with special finishing. And there was a lot of customization uh, for, for the fitting. Like we use a special piece of terrazzo, uh, you can see on the photo on the right, with some uh, icons of the lake. So there was, um, there was a lot of work, but uh, it all came uh, together. And um, also it was nice because while we were working, so you can see that from, from even from the lake view, is very integrated into, uh, into the hill. Like for instance, there's a green wall, vertical green wall, designed by uh, Patrick Blanc. It also did another wall on, on, the, on the rear that you can see from, uh, from the lobby. And then it also did uh, a three-dimensional uh, intervention, green, green sculpture, that was kind of uh, a new year for him. So um, again, it's uh, one thing something I wanted to be integrated with the lake, with the culture of the lake, but also different from, uh, from something existing. And uh, we were happy also because while we were working on the project, we were seeing the, 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 the area by the lake. We even designed one of uh, the motorboats. The hotel has uh, five motorboats. 
that were built on the lake and uh, we designed uh, one of those. And while we were uh, browsing uh, that area of the lake, we could see that the, they were doing some renovation work on, on a villa from the 1500s, Villa Pignana. And we were thinking it would be a dream, you know, to have uh, to do something there in connection with the hotel because it's very close by in the same village. And, uh, and that was a, an amazing project because uh, the, it took the owners like 33 years to get the permissions and, uh, and to do the, the, to restore the villa. And, uh, and our investor could find an agreement to have also that villa. So it's nice because you can have uh, a modernist building and also in conjunction, also a villa from the 1500s. And, uh, and so we we'll also work on, uh, on that project. So it's very two different dimension of the lake that uh, you can like one or the other or the two together. Like True. you open it, uh, Daniel Elk used a boat for, for his wedding. Yeah, I, I, I wanted that both of you could finish uh, to present this project because talking about contemporaneity, so this is contemporary, we are seeing contemporary project, innovative, and something also which is pushing the boundaries because all the stairs that I see from Marzorati and even the Il Sereno is an example, which is a contemporary pieces inside of a very classic and 50s style of lake recognized uh, from, from many in this, in this case. That my question, Alberto, first, and, and also to Stefano, how, are you, how can you deal with uh, the materials companies? How can you deal when you want to find a specific finishing mm -hmm. that has to match with modernity and authenticity and storytelling? Three elements. Who want to be the first? Uh, you Stefano? know, I, I <laughs> be, I, I'll be the first because I am, a, because Alberto, you know, he's an architect, I am a, a, a producer, you okay. know, the, 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 and Alberto, uh, he will, I, I think he will confirm what I'm saying. You know, the luck, the luckness we have, but uh, in our area, in, uh, in 30 kilometers around, we are North Milano, you know, all the big best, all the, the best company, furniture company, or architectural metalwork company, or glass maker company, you know, are, are there. So in uh, in uh, in one hour we can find the best uh, wood maker, the best cabinet maker, the best marble, the, the best metal, the best, and also the finishing. So it's very easy for 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 us uh, um, fishing in the lake and everything you every fish every everything uh, every fish you 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 take it is good. You understand for something. And now I'm working with some very good, um, uh, let's say, furniture company in, um, in Essex. And they tell me, ah, Stefano, you are so lucky because, you know, anything you need uh, is, uh, is in, uh, you have in, in, in 30 minutes, you can find everything. In London, you know, to find uh, something, some company that make casting, uh, you have to go to Newcastle. Something that makes special finishing, you have to go to Glasgow. So is is a is really chaotic, but for us, you know, everything is there. I, I, do you agree with me, in Alberto? It's very easy. Is the is the Alberto, which is your your point? Because then I also give mine. Yeah, so. So it's also a matter of attitude. Because, for instance, uh, with many partners we have uh, in Italy, uh, we try to force, you know, to to ask for special things, difficult things. They never say it cannot be done. So. Uh, you know, it's nice because for them, it's a, it's a personal challenge. It's a passion. So uh, even if they don't have the answer, they go home at night, think about it. And the next day they come up with a possible way for a solution. So they, uh, they enjoy the challenge and uh, they leave it not only as a job, but also as a, as a personal pleasure to do something that was never done before. So uh, that I think is very special from, uh, from Italy. And also the courage to do something in innovation, uh, risking, and you know, doing uh, prototypes of something that was never done before. So uh, of course, it's uh, it's a lot of risk, but uh, I think it's a very important attitude not to do uh, to repeat yourself and not to do always uh, the same thing. 
and also the largeness, as I said, Alberto, you can confirm that we can find everything in in, in 30 yeah. kilometer area, you understand? So it's uh, it's very easy. We don't have to to travel a lot to, to find the best. Uh, really, it's very easy for us. And also I, the, the, yeah. the, the attitude of uh, problem solving, uh, because again, uh, many times uh, the people we're working with are taking more risk or more responsibility than they should, because they really love, uh, they fell in love with the project, they fell in love with the idea. So they put more than uh, they should. I, I want also to add another element. So what Stefano said and also Alberto. So in Italy, we have districts and in districts, you can find so many person experts. So when we talk about textile, when we talk about leather, when we talk about wood, you know, so metals and everyone can help each other. So this is another very beautiful thing. So designers and architects and from fashion to interior, so they can find the way to help each other. So also this is one of the position that this is a reason why Italian never tell you no. They think, okay, let me think. Maybe you ask me to do something in wood, but I already experience in leather. So let me ask you another one. So, and this is really the way to be connected and to come up with the modern, modernity part. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's thank that we were a polycentric uh, model of country, not uh, monocentric. The help uh, to, to risk more and to diversify. So instead of having a capital like Paris or Madrid or London, we had 100 centers that could take more risk because uh, they could hire different artists or different uh, craftsmen. So that helped us to, uh, to have this attitude uh, toward diversity, toward risk taking and, 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 and passion, passion as well. And this, this make me uh, giving you also another types of uh, question. So how can you push the, to be uh, very contemporary when you have to respect local history. So Alberto explained was not easy to, uh, let me say, surf between the different rules. And, but then to the other side, you want to be new and new and new. So how can you do it, Stefano? This is more for Alberto because well, can you do I, I because I have to do what the client and the architect. I, yes. ha, I am I am not the, the the I am not the decision maker. They are the architect and the client are the decision maker. I am I am their, their slave. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I have to do okay. what they want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, I like this position as well. I think it's our responsibility to push the limits, you know, to push the limits of technology, of the norms or everything, because uh, that's what we're paid for. And uh, the most difficult thing I think is, uh, you know, is to smell the air, is to understand what's gonna be contemporaneous, what's gonna be received in, uh, in the near future, because, you know, maybe uh, you're gonna work on a project, it's gonna take three years, but that project needs to last for 20 years or 30 years. So the most difficult exercise for us is to uh, read the future, you know, smell, smell the contemporaneity and see how it's, gonna, how it's evolving and giving a product that's not gonna last like fashion for, for one season, but hopefully for, for many years. So that's the most uh, difficult task and responsibility because you cannot be uh, you know, too early. So nobody, you have a fantastic idea, but nobody uh, understands it. Or it can be one second too late, and then you're going to be the second. So that's uh, the critical thing. And to do, you have to force uh, the limits. You have to force uh, uh, the existing, but uh, with a with vision. For instance, what's happening now is that a lot of hotel chains understand that the model of uh, repeating the same concept everywhere in the world is not working anymore. Because if you're staying in Como or if you're staying in Paris, you don't want to wake up in the morning and see the same room. Yeah. At the same time, having a chain, they need to have some standards. So the, the really uh, difficult task is to find a good compromise between having some factors that uh, made you uh, recognize the chain, the brand, 
but at the same time also make you recognize the place where you are and connect it with the place where you are, which is a not easy exercise. But this, sorry, interrupt you. Also, this is happening, uh, Albert, if you agree with me, Orietta, either. You know, it's also happening with the fashion, you understand? Because, the, 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 you know, you cannot have the same with on in Ginza or the same with on in, uh, in Vienna, you understand? So, because we, we designed some, um, the, all, the, all the projects, all the, the shops for Officina Panerai, and uh, in Hong Kong was completely different because you know want to do something link uh, like a club link with the water in Florence was completely different from the standard because it was the, where they were born so it was uh, the original location in Miami was a uh, link with uh, Art Basel and so also as an exhibition space so but at the same time you could see the brand in all uh, in all the shops this is really uh, one of the one of the things is global to local that it's was already on the hair. Yeah. And now I think after COVID, it's more and more stronger. Of course, the way to act and move from fashion world is faster than for design because you need more time okay. to build and to do the things. But this kind of movement now, it's, it's really localized, authenticity for every flavor. And this is really the reason why I like it to have you both, the producer and the concept. And even this is always the, another important fact. So uh, during this week's talking about Italian manufacturer and Italian supply chain in a different subject uh, to American market, we seen that was so strong the interest of how much people talk together. Designer are more and more, uh, I don't want to say expert, but are more and more close to know more, yeah. to have more knowledge in a technical way, to give more support to the producer. How can you see this element connected to sustainability? Mm -hmm. Because sustainability is another huge issue now yeah alberto we we're lucky for them yes <laughs> we're lucky we're lucky because we could work in very different uh, level of uh, projects you know from product to interior to architecture uh, residential retail office so we are um have a very flexible mind because we have to change dimension technology very often jumping different scales uh, so of course, for us, the, the, uh, it's very important the concept of uh, circularity, of uh, what to do, why to do it, how many life can have, and so the the, the creative to put to do in, in everything. So uh, I think we put the same quality if we do a product that costs uh, one euro or ten thousand euros, so one million. It's not important uh, the cost of the piece, but the quality you give. Also because the the people are perceiving that. <coughs> Even if you pay something a dollar, but you, you feel that you, what you're receiving is more than what you pay, you're happy. If, even if you pay a dollar and you feel like you're receiving less than you were expecting, there's a problem. And one of the expectations, rightly, it's also the, the, uh, the, everything that's around the product. So where it's coming from, the materials, the source, the logistic, uh, where it's going to go, what's going to happen uh, after his uh, life is, uh, is finished, how many lives can you have. So... Of course, in many sectors, we cannot change overnight. So what we're trying to do is that uh, on a new project, we try to have an attitude of uh, evolution. So that, for instance, uh, we did a project, a uh, shop uh, from Missouri in New York, where 40% uh, of the materials were recycled. Uh, but the idea is that, because that was the maximum we could do at the moment, but it's an open concept, evolutive concept, so that every day we can put more recycled uh, products. Uh, so for instance, we can use, uh, use the clothes to become like part of architecture and so on. Uh, but like before, you were doing something that would last for five years or 10 years, this model cannot be sustained anymore. So now it's important to do the best you can today and have an evolutive program that you can improve every day. So after 10 years, uh, maybe you're not even going to recognize uh, the same concept, the same uh, mood but you're going to recognize the brand and there's going to be evolution uh, in that. 
I like to touch one element because now Alberto was talking about trustability and storytelling and also uh, recycled material. Just look in this picture that we choose, we've yeah. seen a lot of leather yeah. in a certain way. So leather actually, and this typology of leather, it's already a recycled product because it's coming only from animals that we eat. So in this yeah. case, leather is already part of the process of recycling from an industry that is already existing. So this is another element. We cannot have so many types of leather. Leather is long lasting. And leather is already one part of recycling and it's already a material that, let me say, after that this beautiful lady uh, used this kind of beautiful chair, we can also polish, clean it. There are some scratches that will become most beautiful. Oh, yeah. So I just like to give you this detail. Do you think Alberto has an architect and has a studio of architects so that people that live inside of the hotel, they want to know more about the materials. In this case, it could be leather, it could be textile, uh, it could be the stones. So material that they sleep for one or couple of nights or they touch it or they feel it. Do you think they will ask these kind of things? Yeah, I think there's a... Uh... There's a growing attention on that. And of course, I think there's not only one answer. There's a very complex answer for sure. Um, there are different uh, solutions. One is uh, to, to solve this complexity. One is uh, to make things with care. So for instance, if we do one piece, uh, we have to, subdue, has to do many, perform in many ways. It has to look beautiful uh, because you know, it's tells is used uh, for every day for a lot of days but have the feeling also of uh, being domestic as if uh, it's, it's your home. So to do that, you really have to do it, uh, all the materials uh, on the surface and in part of the, of the materials with the best quality. So they can last for long. And so you don't have to change it every second year or every three years. So that's a way of, uh, of thinking uh, circularity. And when their lifespan is, uh, is finished, you can still use them, uh, restoring them. Or you can, you know, uh, they can have a second life. You know, there are people that love to add those pieces because maybe they are the production. And so they can keep on living for, for, for many years. Uh, that's one solution. The other solution is not only to have one solution because for instance, if you do only uh, one thing, you might create more problem than, uh, than the one you solve. So uh, I believe in any way in the concept of diversity, diversifying risk, uh, diversify solution. Um, because diversity is good. Uh, if you risk all everything on one direction, it can be more airful than, than positive. If, uh, like it's happening, if you know everybody's eating avocado, uh, we will destroy the situation because the people that are growing avocado, they uh, cannot afford to eat it anymore. They have to export it, and uh, you abuse the use of land. So diversity and is is uh, is important in everything. Correct. Correct. Well, what do you think, Stefano, about this topic? No, for sure, uh, you know, the, 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 the careness and the attention to the, to the detail of not until 10 years ago, you know, people took care in a five-star hotel just about uh, how it's done, is well done, uh, and blah, blah. Now, um, especially for the architect for them, because as I told before, we are obliged to follow what they ask. You understand what I mean? And uh, you know, for them, for sure, it's uh, become a, a big um, a big issue. This one, if you if you want to do an an hotel with uh, the same uh, the same material you used ten years ago, probably you are out of the market because people want to have uh, want to have. Uh, you know, want to know, first of all, uh, what kind of material is being used, where does it come from, and blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. But 10 years ago, people didn't care. Mm -hmm. I, am, am I right, Alberto? You know, people 10 years ago, people who, it's a nice hotel, whatever. But uh, now, they also the client uh, will, will, will ask you to probably to, to give 
to supply material that are uh, handmade, uh, not uh, not uh, made in a in, in play in in in, in, in countries that are not uh, the the labor is not protected. The the the, the material, the stone uh, is to be certified and not to be. You cannot break a mountain to be to do this kind of stuff. So I feel very less. Uh, this problem because as I told you, we had to. I, I noticed for sure, but also, you know, we did a big project for Deutsche Bank, uh, the headquarter in, uh, in, um, in, uh, in Frankfurt. So we want to have all the certification of the material and where the, where the material does come from. I make you another example for. Um, the big project we did in uh, for the Qatar uh, Qatar Airport, you know, they were super selected on the on the material. We want they didn't want to have they want to have just German steel and not uh, or Japanese. They didn't want to have Russian steel or this kind of you know or Chinese steel. Not because of political reason, because they want to know exactly where the steel come from. That is okay. uh, everything is under control and you know they were very absolutely very very strict if you offer something that was not right they refuse you know there was no chance yeah, there are many dimensions i'll give you an example now we're designing some offices where all the floors uh can be washed only with water so uh, like you know the, the the floor can last for 10 years so you save 10 years of uh, detergent of chemical detergent yeah yeah, yeah. So you have to think in a more holistic way, not only uh, in one direction, but in many dimensions, because it's not only where the product is coming for, how long it's going to last, but are you going to dismantle it, are you going to recycle, and, but also all the maintenance. So there are so many dimensions, and, uh, but if you're able to tackle them all at the same time, like in the project we were shown, it's, it's a very good challenge. And again, we were so happy that we could uh, use for the first time in Italy that system for eating and cooling. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we were happy that uh, the client had this vision. Uh, of course, you have to do uh, things with uh, in time and budget because you have the best idea, but you're out of budget, uh, it cannot be done. Yeah, yeah. There are ways you, to you, to it, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I, I, you know, when the client comes to you, especially, you know, like a, a bank or an insurance, whatever, they want to they want they ask you first of all to have a a lead uh, project uh, platinum or uh, gold or whatever to say okay we can use any kind of material they say okay thanks a lot uh, uh, miss Uchiola, but we we are looking for some s somewhere else especially in the north europe they are becoming really let's say very very strict about this this issue correct yeah i i like that we started with the title talking about authenticity and now the time is running because I see that we started to go in different ways. So yeah, this yeah. means the topic is really interesting, it's very important for us. Thanks. And, and I want to say that what Alberto said, a responsibility and sustainability has to be taken in consideration in several layers is not only the traceability, is not only where is the material is made for, but it also uh, always has to be maintained. So you have to use a variety of materials. So this is really given to me also another aspect. Sometimes you can have this material, but you cannot to have the same one for uh, 2000 hotel, no way, so one. Yeah, yeah. That's it. To, so this is another message. So unicity cannot be industrialized sometimes. Absolutely. So we need to be careful about the things. And then you expect of authenticity. So I want to thank both of you. Thank you. Thanks for really? inviting us. Thanks so really both of you because I'm sure that what we touched today, uh, someone want to ask us to meet again because next September we have an opportunity to open again our live streaming to the, all over the world. Yeah. Because you know not everyone can travel not yet, so we are not making. Soon. 
Hope we are soon. making everybody uh, dreaming again uh, to travel soon. So thanks to the participant. I want to just remind that we are recorded for YouTube. So our YouTube link will be uploaded in YouTube so yeah. everyone can listen us. I wish they will appreciate. And I want to invite in Italy, everyone in Milan, in Lake Como, in to Il Sereno, to visit all of us and to have enjoyed a drink together. Grazie, thanks a lot. Grazie, no, grazie Alberto. Grazie Alberto, say my best to, to Patricia. Say my best to If you have the chance to see her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if she's not, but he's not traveling so much, I think, in this period. Yeah. Okay. Grazie. grazie, thank you very, very much to all of you. See you very soon.